Hi, my name is Andy Stewart. I'm a solution engineer on the ArcGIS Indoors team, and today we'll be looking at how to create an ArcGIS Indoors database and how to migrate your CAD to an ArcGIS Indoors information model geodatabase using certain geoprocessing tools. Let's get started. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to my catalog pane and I'm going to create a new file geodatabase. And you can call it whatever you'd like, I suggest labeling it to what your building or your campus is referring to. So I'm just labeling this as building L and I'm going to name it RGS Indoors Information Model Geo Database after just so I understand what this is going to be. Once I have that done, I'm going to go to Geo Processing and I'm going to search Create Indoors Database. Once I have that selected, I'm gonna run it on my blank geo database I just created. And I'm gonna check off create network features and drop existing indoors databases. And I'm gonna hit run. While that's running, what I'm doing here is I've taken my blank geo database and I'm converting it over into ArcGIS indoors information model geo database where I'm able to migrate all of my CAD into. Once it's done, I'll show you that in catalog, you can drill down the list of that new geo database and see that you have all of your indoor schema that is necessary for the next steps. Okay, so the next step is to use the ArcGIS indoors floor plans, the indoors geoprocessing tool. But before we do that, we need to set up our indoors ArcGIS indoors information model configuration sheet. To do that, we're going to be looking for program data within our C drive. And then we're going to locate the Esri folder and locate the indoors folder. In there, we'll find the product files, which we can drill into, go into our version of Pro, and find mapping file. In there, we can locate the configuration sheet that we need to access. Now that we have the indoors configuration table open, we can look at the three sheets at the very bottom left hand corner. CAD layer to feature class mapping is for mapping the input CAD layer names to their corresponding output GIS feature classes. Depending on the layers present in your CAD, the floor plans the indoors geoprocessing tool uses the columns in the sheets to differentiate the way it will be populated in your ArcGIS indoors model. For facility properties, this sheet is used for your facility metadata, such as the building name, unique ID, address, number of floors, elevation and height, and rotation. For level properties, this also stores the metadata of the individual floors that make up your building or facility. This includes the file paths to your CAD drawings, level names, relative elevation information, feature merging options, and door closing functionality. If you need help with populating the columns in the sheets, please look at the link provided in the description below. Once we have set up our indoors configuration table and have our ArcGIS indoors information model geodatabase generated, we can use the floor plans of the indoors geoprocessing tool to import floor plan information for a single floor or multiple floors and buildings. First, go into your geoprocessing pane and search floor plans to indoors. Once selected, input the blank ArcGIS Indoors Information Model Geodatabase we created earlier for Building L. Then input the Excel template file parameter by clicking the Browse for the ArcGIS Indoors Information Model Configuration Table. After that, use a dot, dash, or underscore to separate the text box in the unique ID attributes in the unique ID delimiter. Then, click the sliver QA threshold and choose the ratio of the polygon shape perimeter to its area. The default ratio of 2 works in most situations. 
If necessary, click door close buffer and choose a buffer value in inches that can help close the gaps to create clean unit polygons from wall and door lines. This input is super helpful for CAD as poor topology and the doors and walls of gaps that you wish to close. Once completed and have done an overview of what you just did, click run. After running floor plans indoors, we can see that it successfully ran. This geoprocessing tool takes some time to run depending on the size and scale of your floor plans. I suggest pausing the video at this point and waiting for the tool to finish processing and generating. You should inspect the output feature classes that were created by your floor plans to indoors geoprocessing tool. The tool writes the output feature classes to the input workspace of your ArcGIS indoors information model geodatabase that was generated with the create indoors database tool. First, click add data, add the facilities, levels, units, and details feature classes from your ArcGIS indoors information model geodatabase to the same base map of where you loaded your CAD floor plans. Once your feature classes have been selected, go ahead and press OK. Make sure Units is above Levels and Facilities is below Levels. Go ahead and drill into the symbology of Units. Locate Unique Values. Go to Field. Drill down the list and select Use Type. Collapse all the layers in the left pane. Once this step is complete, we're going to go to Details, right-click, and Locate Properties. In Properties, Locate Range, add a range, and give it a vertical order. Go ahead and add and press OK. Repeat this process for Units and Levels. One will see that I try to do the same thing for facilities. However, facilities does not have a vertical order. It is on the ground floor. Therefore, I do not give it a range. Once this step is complete, go up to the range tab. Locate single value and check it. Once this step is complete, you'll notice that a floor switching widget appears on the right side of the map. Go ahead and press up and down to see it navigate throughout your floors. Thanks for watching this video on creating an indoors database and learning how to load your CAD floor plans to indoors. Please hit the subscribe button to learn more about my ArcGIS indoors and other GIS content I am posting. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Please don't hesitate to comment on the video if you have any questions. Thank you.